Right, so this is going to be... Yeah. Um, it's never been done before. How long have you had this machine for? Uh, okay, so we've had it since 2018, despite the fact for nine months it was out of service while it literally was like... In, it was just not worthy of being able to work. Anyway, what we're going to test so out... I only use it like... I only film it like once every so often or something. It feels like you film it all the time. Anyway, we're going to load it up with... It does, yeah. It feels like... Lights with... Oh yeah, martial arts uniform. Is that going to be alright? <laughs> oh, uh, we'll leave those out then. Martial arts uniform done separately. Oh. Magic, it's going on the special lights programme. Ooh. Actually, what about your bedding? Your bedding will be alright, I won't say that. Yeah, sit that in there, on it. So I was testing something out, but we're not quite sure what's going to happen. So we've got... I'm very interested on this, to see what it'll do. Yeah. So, what we're going to do is... Uh, we're going to do the whites economy, but... If you notice there, it says... Spin. Half spin. And because it doesn't say 9 over 95, that means it's not special white. Now, white economy generally just heats to 60 but does the same length as a 95. So, therefore, at 60 degrees, it allows the. Um, no, let's put tabs in that one, shall we? Can. So, we've got some. We've got the old washing it with the triangle, mate. Nice. I still got one as well. I found that in the Creed Simplicity 1000 at VHF. It was in the drawer. I thought, second, I was like, mine. In the drawer? Yeah, they'd stop that in the drawer. I was like, oh my god. Which side do these go in? This side? Yeah. Oh, one and two there. Yeah. I'll just throw the cow on the drum. Washing machines live longer with a cow gun. We are on the door seal. Yeah. It just then it slowly dissolves itself onto the door sill. That's what I do, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll have it off later on. That's the only annoying thing about the machine. So we're filling straight up with hot. hot. So it is going to be a hot wash mm. So it might heat to 60, it might heat to 95. That's the thing we're testing here, more than anything. But we do know we'll end with a 500 RPM spin. Is it already advanced one, or have I just not done it? Yeah, advance? no, it actually, the timer corrects itself. If it's not on the right notch, it'll actually move itself. Hmm. It's my timer on these, I've got like 60 wires to them, literally. That's all that's, that's about 60 or 70 connections that you've got, actually. That's why people don't like working on these machines. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how Michael did that with an A3110, they swapped over two times. I'm like, the timer ever goes on this machine, I'm not doing it. I'm like, Mike, come get the A3060, I need a timer transplant. What was it doing? The, I think it was it was doing like, it was trying to spin during the washing over and it turned to be a faulty timer. Oh. That's interesting. Man. I still need to look at my, I don't know what's wrong with my FCA to so be done. F oh, that's the studio? Yeah, the studio line. Well. The ASCO kind of build because it won't sit properly on the spin or or on the note or actually it will only sit properly at 800 RPM. Is that 400? Or uh, blocks doing baloney style tumble. <laughs> and then we just bought it up and around. Only for five seconds. That's on the low you jump. Do that for the tire wash. Buff, buff, yeah. Half the washing comes out wet. Because I remember with my nana I like, put one sheet in once. Oh, and I was like, shit, I don't know. Like, oh, we'll just stick it on the... I think I was like, because it's like, oh, let's just test out the pre-wash as well. And the entire side just bobbed up and down. Even though it was on the synthetic program as well. <laughs> That's the only program she used, synthetics at 60. Which oh, is why cool. I know there's a, there's a synthetic 60 on the balloon washer. It's the exact same timer. Oh, yeah. But it was set out at 60. That's the one that does the Willful. shots of the pump before it goes into spin, isn't it? Hmm? That uh, Millennium you've got, it does it shuts the pump off, wouldn't it, before it goes into spin? 
Yeah, it does actually. Yeah. That's because uh, Matt and Ellie, no, Ellie's got the Amiga version of it, washer dryer, and it's essentially a service with Lenny. And it does that, it shuts the pump off, distributes and then it cuts as it ramps up. I thought that makes no sense. No, that's fine, then it sudd locks. Because it can't drain fast enough then. But the idea is that if you shut off the pump repeatedly, it will won't you can't air lock then, and therefore it won't it will drain a lot more fluid than mm. the idea of it. What's the airlock? Is that just when it uh, where it tries to push up the water but it can't because there's too much air in the pipe. Or it can, but very slowly. I mean, we had it before, it drains out, and then it drains out very, very slowly. Yeah. With an airlock in it somewhere. That might be the heating station, I think. I almost have to cook a pot in the morning for a breakfast. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. Because I'd be in a home. <laughs> you like cocoa pops? Yeah. I keep switching up between cocoa pops, um, Crave or um, Cog's Crunchy Nut Clusters. <laughs> Trouble is oh, Crunchy Nut Clusters. It's doing eating tumbles, there we are. Oh yeah. Do you want to get the creator dryer maybe? Yeah, we'll get it out, otherwise... No, I can put that, I'll just put it over there. Otherwise we're going to have to like, cart it over <coughs> to full moon back tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, where am I sleeping tonight? Uh, on the sofa, am I? Yeah. You've got a long free seat up. Free seat sofa. Oh. Saying that, saying that, the boiler was in the garage. 
I'm not sure if that's one's about 70 or so, it doesn't. Oh my god, I so need that trolley. Stair trolley. Technically, though, when I bring them in the house, I literally lift them over the doorstep. Put up my knee and I literally lift it over the doorstep. I'm alright with these, but I couldn't do it with like a Miller or a Dyson. But yeah, they're bloody amazing, those things. I borrow it tomorrow. I'm going to have a visa just in case it's like going up some stairs. Oh, that'll go upstairs, yeah. Have you got straps to keep on or whatnot? Uh, it might fall off it. Yeah. It's Hopefully it's on like the same ground, the same floor. Yeah. Hope it's not like in a basement or anything. I wish iPhones had like a like infrared sensor on them or something. Yeah. yeah. Dry it. Dry it for me. So what, the fairy smells really nice. Do you want that endless at spin dart by any chance? Is that only interest in you that?
Wait a minute, let me change it up now. That's why. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm guessing? I'm guessing because that's probably trying to heat again. That's definitely gone to 90 now, that's almost 95. Oh yeah, it's getting there. Yeah. That's 95. You can hear it now. You can also hear the heater. Yeah. On the hot point it's really loud. Like, it sounds like a kettle for you. Yeah, that wasn't the RCD, so I was over and off. Yeah. That's just, it can't Dancers. cope with yeah. too much power. Because it can only cope with like 13 amps. Yeah, literally. That would call the downstairs. Because the theoretically, you should be able to run that, that, and the dry heat without it going. Uh, yeah. On 30 amps. Oh yeah, there's like jet sound on it. I know what they might have done. They might be running a 15 amp in that. The council might pull a 15 amp in. Well, I found a replacement on a 13 amp fuse, but even the 15 amp one blew as well. No, no I don't mean on that, oh, I mean no. on the actual main board, because it's supposed to run on 30 amps. Almost on the dilution rent. That's got to be that quick. About half an hour, literally. 26 minutes? Are we ready for? I don't know what was. Mind you, considering the water was already purged, so it probably went in about 50 degrees. You want a steak bake? Yeah. Where is it? Oh, they're here. 
I've got a nine and four. I'll care with the microwave, I'll blow the power. I've had two machines going on a boil wash and it has blown that circuit, blown up. You warm up if you want. Yeah. Fine, cold. Road is in front, I'll probably know it. I suppose my washing is 8.06 done. No, it doesn't get a second load. Actually, that more about using it, I think. What's that? <laughs> it doesn't get a second load. <laughs> no, I'm like, okay, I've just done one in the 8.06, you can put it in the medium now. But it's good to go a few boil washers because it's softened up the rubber a bit on that. You don't find more fishing that anymore, that kind of those. No, but half of them have created a whole thing. Yeah, yeah, originally came, place of, like, it originally came with a black hose, the first one cracks and it's a dilution then. Already. Quick. <laughs> it heats quicker than the hot point does. Purin Street. What's that? Purin Street. Yeah, that's fun. Right, so I won't be able to wash and dry if you don't want them. Might as well have a wash and dry enough to find it up. You can realize that's the thing in the deep low, low mission. What's that, sir? Camel to put all that on, I think, on it there, where it moves electric. <laughs> I think it was like a milky white colour in the water. Well, with them. Oh, yeah. on the cool mountain, isn't it? Are oh, you facial tripod forward? The handle. You don't feel any of it coming through there. You want the back? So I don't need to pay... I don't think you need to pay, no. I've no, got... I've just checked it against the thing space. I suppose that's petrol. Because it Probably seems to affect that. diesels at the minute. Uh, mostly diesels. Probably why them. Because um, my um, housemate, she drove to London and she ended up with a fine for about 80 quid. Oh, because you, you don't pay it, yeah. She, she was in a Ford Focus diesel. And she yeah. drove obviously into the ultra low emissions thingy. Because obviously they're only doing it on the nitrates and it's not it's calmed out. So. Yeah, no, that's what they're doing on. <sighs> I think it affects some petrols, but only like larger vehicles or larger engines. How much that takes? That takes it down a fair bit of that water. But like, it's just like 40 degrees now. Are you be surprised? I'll, um, I don't think really I, the main down. washers are about there and the cool down is about there, so that's probably why. The Miele does the step cool down on the Minimine, it does the fill drain thing. Minimine 63. Mm. 
groaning at that time. Might as well have got some opening a door or something. Like creaky on yeah. floorboards. Eh? <laughs> yeah, that's a. I think they're called the Cruise Timers, I think they're called. And the matchbox, the one before, the matchbox that's had the MCH on, they, they sound like keymatics when they turn. Yeah, so you've got a mechanical washer that sounds like a keymatic as it turns. All the pressure it pumps out of it. Ooh, this one had really quick. Yeah, but so the meal is. Even those, even those pump out. I just wish that would chug after me. Oh, it does say, you know one of those, um, there's an easy pump out. Yeah. Okay. The, the drain hose is massive. Like the actual opening. Yeah, oh yeah. It's like, nine, I, think it's out of a, tw- I think it's a 22 mil actually, or 19 mil, okay? Which is huge. And it drains like, say, from. Because it's cooled down, it doesn't cool down as well, which gets to about nearly halfway. But then you drain that out within that 30 seconds. Yeah, so if I've just drained that from that, it was a wider open, so it would drain out a lot faster. The spin drive is really draining faster, the spin drive is it. That's like the four seconds that chops out. Yeah, I would just think that the heat loosens the oil up in the motor so it would make it sound smoother for oh, yeah. less resistance than if it would be a spin faster. Yeah, because yeah, that thing would be like trying to do 600 on like the spin rather than oil. You know, like tumbles only after the on the first spin, it should go for all of them. But it advances onto the delicate part before it's actually filled. Maybe that's why it's in them then. Yeah, maybe to do it now. That oven's clean. Yeah, we've got a foil in it. We've got like layers of foil. Not even the doors are clean. We've had that ten years. Like, yeah. And it's a, it's a cannon! Indice. Hotpoint. <laughs> <laughs> but who made them design first? Well, Hotpoint is more Hotpoint. The cannon made that design first and Hotpoint copied it. Hotpoint too often. No, cannon are manufactured by Hot. Uh, no, well, can, cannon is the, the company that actually manufactured them. Right. For Hotpoint. For Indice. And have them for yeah. on their own, you know. Like back when these were out, back when them they were out. Oh wow, so that Bosch made all their dishwashers. Oh, oh. oh apart from like the, the first edition. Well that was hot one. That's not hot one. Oh, it's not hot one. That uh, Jack Wolf, the deck, it's an Instagram. That, wow. that first choice one. I created the first show. That's the best one, I don't know. Or maybe, I don't even know. No, he said something to do with Spain. Oh, Cytol or something. Not Cetol, but S I T A L. Probably. The door that's in there, yeah. Then that's no longer the delegates. Probably. I can't believe how many manufactured lost machines in there. Oh, there's so many of them. No, there isn't. Was it not? No, not that one. Oh, he made their own ones. No, that's insane. How many actual manufacturers of washing machine are there? 
there's brands, but there's, there's probably, loads of brands. But like there's hundreds of brands, but there's only you'll make like one brand. I count one as manufacturing. Like I count 10. as sixteen mm. manufacturers. And then back in the day, you went through a catalogue of olives. There were like fifty manufacturers from each. Yeah, and and they were all made by those companies. Now it's like the only joint economies you have are like Creda and Jackson, Hirondo and Indesert. Yeah, but that's what happens when they start merging like that, and then they. Back then, you had double names like Colson, Ariston. You had Phillips, Whirlpool. You had all that. Well, you got AG Electrolux, Zanussi Electrolux. No, Zanussi don't put Electrolux in their things. I do. I don't think. They went through from two thousand and one ish to about two thousand and eleven. They used to put the Zanussi Electrolux, yeah. AG Electrolux, and stuff like that. Yeah. AG was still AG. And then they dropped it again. Until. AG went AG Electrolux when they brought like, the Lava Logic out on one lot, didn't they? The silver panel ones. But yeah. the update mods were just AEG on them. What's mine? Well, because like, the, the probe text just says AEG. Oh, okay, that's not. That's when it got dropped. And same with like all these nooses from Poland. Or the. Oh, like when they started getting made in Poland. There's another one from Zanussi. Like, Midia made one from Zanussi. On the yeah, there is. The There's ZWGs. Ones. ZWG 1140Ms. And they seem to be lasting longer than the actual Zanussis. <laughs> <laughs> no. Because the Midia made ones, but I but the, 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 the same design as Statesman branded ones at the time. Because I looked online originally, and it was about five years ago, and there was a Statesman washing machine, and it was like, it had a, an orange LCD display, bright orange, and you could change the wash, how long the wash level was, the, the wash level water size, how many rinses you want, everything, you could change everything on it, so it was like ultimate. 280 quid, 7 kilo, 1400 spin. Oh. Two hundred eighty quid. But this is before I moved out. Yeah. Well, to be fair, I haven't really had any money up until recently. So. Oh, can you keep buying washing machines? As people keep saying. I don't buy them. I mostly get them for free. Yeah, that's a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Most of them. Because people ask me, oh, are you going to sell that? The well, one I'm going to get tomorrow. It's like, no. I'm not traveling all this way to then sell it on. There's no money in it. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's like the uh, Muses and Lucy Compacts. I've traveled miles for them. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't get how they say, because I've read on some websites when they were selling that, that it's good for a caravan. You can't have that in a caravan. Doing 13 on the spin, like, you know. You can, because they're solid. Oh, solid. Well, near as. The, the latest one is that we one the latest one. I actually someone, has the worst yeah. dampers on them. I thought someone who was going to put a Mila in a caravan once. A what? A Mila in a caravan. I thought, yeah, how that's going to work out. Uh, no, no, that, the right thing with them is made for marine, so like canal boats. Well. That's what the canal boats are no static caravans. Yes, they are, they are manufactured with those static caravans. Oh, yeah, because in Australia they come with the RVs. Really. Yeah. The what they call domestic, that's it. But well, they're only a thousand stone. I bet they're just candy ones. Or the, oh, yeah, the, yeah. the sober, or the, the Eudora ones. Yeah. The Eudora ones are the items. How quite interesting is that Eudora. It was like modern. But it was very old style kind of program. Yeah. It was physically, it was really good. It's like five hundred, it was five hundred, and then still to a thousand. All of this, and it's been, it's been about five hundred. Yeah, about a thousand. Like, oh, really yeah. behind on this time, despite it being a modern machine that's eight hundred quid. Yeah. Did Mark show you the rule cycle? No, yeah, we didn't even do a cycle. Maybe we'll see that one. I did every side thing, that. Cottons, synthetic, stealth. You know, it's the wind cycle. I know. 
Water cycle is the worst on that. It does half a tumble every two minutes. Does it tumble on the rinses then? Yeah, it does. It? No, not in the rinses. No. Same delicate tumble for the whole thing. The spin. Bosch is just as bad. The intermediate I think, I think spins. The, the Bosch, Bosch was the worst one I've ever had. The intermediate spins are 600 and they're a quick burst. And it doesn't give them machine. It's like a vintage one, it doesn't give it enough time to pump out. I don't think it's, it's actually supposed to actually. But the, the worst wall cycle I've ever come across was the one on Bosch Logics. What was that? Because he did too many. It didn't even reach 40 in the, the wall cycle. It only reached about 20 outside. Like that. But on the mint cycles, a waste of time. A little water. Play. Oh, we'll go around that. Ooh, that's a bit of balance. Bedding. <laughs> bedding always falls up, I guess. I've got I've only got bedding. The only one bedding seems to fall up. No, I've worse than I've got bedding in the house. Yeah, that's why I don't do it because otherwise it would look like it doesn't have a first edition. I've had the concrete weight in the chassis of the machine being spin back and forth. Yeah. You look under the machine and you think you've like, got concrete dust where it's here. The suspension that that's got now, the old suspension that would have been coming forward to that. Yeah. See, that's what, that's an actual statement for the shoes. That whole knocking at the top. Yeah. Six hundred. Well, and then the update to twelve on these. Well they're saying that, I'm surprised you no no. I'm surprised the update to twelve hundred on your drum. Yeah. Not the honeycomb. honeycomb. If it's honeycomb I can understand, but well, it's just a standard drum. They call the micro micro hole drum, I think they call it. Well the whole point of the honeycomb drum was how tiny the holes are. Yeah. Essentially, we say the honeycomb drum is the meter's version of the spin care drum from service. We say it was kind of inspired by that. Yeah. Not because of the Or the fact that you've got to switch on power to the machine before you open it. Service, I think, was the first to do that. Yeah, yeah, were. And the fact you had to actually set it to the stop position as well. Yeah. Because if you set it to program C before turning it on, um, and then you turned it on and tried to open the door, it wouldn't release the door. It has to be on the stop position. Right. Essentially, the shirt is the EDK Delicate cycle, again, just with, yeah, it's essentially the same programming as it. It does a few bursts at 600 before it does. Denim! One hour. That's weird. So, Dark Garments here is 1300 or it'll be 1200 over here, I think. 
Yeah, or if it does what the minimum iron timer does, where it does a boost up the 13 ohms for a couple of seconds and comes back down to 1200. So, right. uh, it will, uh, whereas the water cycle levels off at 1200. Because on my... What I do know is that Denim cuts out the intermediate spins. Does. That's why I know when we use the Denim cycle for genes, because the spins are producing... The, the lack of spins is producing four rinse results. So I just went and stuck it... I, all I did was I stuck it on automatic, I did. Yeah, but all... And I use automatic for the woolens because... Well, the reason why I ask, because my professional does 1,200 on Denim, I think. God, it's funny how far back the drum's sitting on that. I can see it from here, there's like, like that much what the drum doors are, I can see. It's clear for a second rinse on it, isn't it? Mm. And it's only bedding. The only thing, that, that one, for some reason, doesn't use water in the drawer. Yeah, every 95 of WM I've known does. That's, that's probably my favourite. Oh, we're we using it. Show the camera. Lenore. Why <laughs> you don't like Lenore? <laughs> no, it's the fancy stuff. It's, saying that, I think I'm going to change. How thick is it? It's a lot. Runnier. I find the yeah. a lot runnier than the comfort. It is, yeah. I'm gonna stop stop using comfort and switch to Lenore. Yeah. Comfort doesn't get washed in, it just ends up going out of I think when I've been using comfort I can feel the glueness around the door seal at the bottom where it connects to the drop. It's like, oh there's all this residue that's like that's probably comfort doing that. I had one of these seats for about four years. I, I didn't have any, we used to have dining chairs and then mum saw the dining table. I was like, alright, I'm going to sit on the floor. Can't sit on the floor, though, which, which is hers. Now you're giving me inspiration. Oh, I have one of these, but. That's good because you I can swivel around and look. This, this looks like the more genuine one. Yeah. It's like oh, 100 and something pounds. 40 pounds. I had a B&M one. No, pound stretch. 30 quid. Pound stretch, yeah. And it was good, but because I used it all the time, every single day, because when I was at my mum and dad's, my computer, the only place to put my computer, we had to put a worktop in. <laughs> That's why we had the John Lewis dryer, the heat pump dryer in my room. We had worktop over it, and had the computer on top of the, dryer. On top of the worktop, and it had to be sat on the end. Because that, that was it, I had, my, I had this, the chair here, Computer there at the end, there's was about, and then I had all the, and then behind the computer, I had like my VCR and my DVD player and my PlayStation and all that stacked. Real WD nine sixty had the Top Gear stickers on it. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. then you put them on your dishwasher, didn't you? I still got them. Where did what did you put them on? No, I put. I've, I've I still got them. I stuck them in the. I them in, this, I stuck them in a box, and then when I moved house, I found the box were all in. Do you still have that WT960 or...? Yeah, I still have that WT960. Because you've got like another one, haven't you, or something? I did, but sold that. Oh, so the one that I saw was the original one that went to all the abuse and everything. <laughs> yes. Oh my yes. god. The original one with the broken bearings. And broken suspension, and broken everything. God, it needs to sound dreadful when it's just shooting it. I am so determined to, like, fix it at some point. It did, it did last though. nine years. Oh, that's... Before the bearings went. <laughs> Suspension had gone back about you did that. two months. I remember when you did that spin trick where you got us to go from 0 to 16 on just straight away. Yeah. Was that service mode or something? No, you just do it on a normal spin, but you just set it to no spin and then time it to when it will get to 1600 because it still runs the same pattern in oh, the drain, is... just that it then goes, just limits to this bit. Uh, just and then all you do is go from 0. 1600, and it will just shoot rockets, right? Rocket up to well, not whatever that spin is, that point. So if it's at say 1200, it will go up to 1200. Well, but if it gets to the point to well, 600, without that distributing error, it'll just it'll just go straight off. Yeah. Jesus Christ. But you'll be in distribution. But if it's trying to balance and you do it, and it's still not balanced, it will just redistribute. It will rebalance it first. So you can't trick it into doing it on a balanced spin. Oh. But what we also found out is that you can trick it into putting more water in. If you had an overfilling at some point. Well, I just let the hose pipe in. Oh, yeah. 
but you can trick it into because your mini load. Put mini load on and then take mini load off. It will then add more water. But because it was timed, it'll add more water than it normally would. Because, <laughs> like, let's say, because mini load would add on, say, 20 seconds of water. Don't have like an emergency cutout level where yeah. this is about here. I feel like I wasn't also in the pump. Well, no, I found out that most of them are set to about two thirds high up. Yeah, yeah and that one's going to be set to one third. But I've also obviously tested it on some of the, some of the more broken machines. So, I like the World Pool, the Hoover. The Hoover's rather interesting because it will get to that certain high, too high, then completely drain out, and then just decide to just give it, and then try again. And it'll just fill up again as normal. <laughs> and then try to do the wash again. Cool. The Vega CDA was the best one. Fager. It's made by Vega though. That CDA, yeah. yeah. Um, that would drain out and then give them a lower carriage. <laughs> yeah, the AG that Matt only got, the 6955, that overfilled really bad. That was like literally coming up to him for the water. But he missed your top. Yeah, no, it popped he threw up an error code. Alright. But that's got, a, that's got a high water level switch on the draw. Ah, that's a nice new spin on the, yeah. the final spin. On the final spin. They've got final rinse off, hasn't it? Well, I really hope so. G. G. It's interesting where it does. It'll probably skip past four or five, just go to five of them, and then probably when it shuts off, just go past all the other notches. Because Colin 60 and just two rinses. Oh, everything's default too on this. I said, no, yeah. Unless you said, well, I program water plus to do extra rinse, top uh, up the main wash and rinse level. Yeah. Rather than doing all three functions. Level four. Yeah. This does have a service mode to it, but it's not a real service mode. So you put a heavy load of towels and it will still balance. It will detect it's not bad, so it will stop. Well, maybe that's part of the service mode. Yeah. Maybe. It, it, part of it's service, but but it's the higher end beavers you can get it to spoon right up. No, actually not. Because we need Josh tried it on the Miller professional. I have not tried it on my professional yet. We tried it on the professional with the ground today, and I stopped the machine and I intentionally got the lights going on the drum. And it's about to the drum bang the time in and it stops and then it reissues. But it's good because you can just take the dart and down like the spin side up. Yeah. But I wanted to know how you make it go. So which Who's closest to you from here? Josh. He lives in North Montana, which is like 65. Just past the Airport. Well, like 10 miles away. Yeah, pretty much there. What are you doing tonight? Well, I don't know. That's what I'm going to say. My grandma's there. You're on tour. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. Josh is in the Yeah. Uh, Stephen McKinnell's nearby. Oh yeah. He's somewhere south here. But he is in London, I know he is. But I was, I was thinking like after work. Yeah. You can actually yeah. come to my work actually. If you drove down the Richmond, I'll show you where it is and then... What's Josh got? He's got the Mega Supersonic, he's got a W1 now and the matching dryer. Yeah, we we'll get Get the machine tomorrow, take it over to him and watch his face. A V dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what's what? like, I'll kind of buy it off you. What's, you what's, had a chance! What's about on the way we find, like, I don't know, some old what my phone outside someone's house? Yeah, we'll pull it, pull it in the car. Get in the car. I don't really get a gift for you. Yeah, I don't know where. Uh, Robert Moore's in Uckfield here. That's. Sorry, but it's part of London, sorry. 
Because I don't mind driving miles and miles. No. I don't mind driving, because it's like, well, it's not obviously too far, because obviously we need to travel ourselves, time-wise. Yeah. <coughs> but tomorrow, it doesn't matter what. I don't plan on leaving somewhere in your way. Nah, fine, yeah, so I'll do that. Good thing about me. Because then obviously I won't say, I can bomb it back to me. Yeah, that's what I like about doing really early. I hate getting up at 5 and I think, hang on, I think it's at 1.15, I've got a whole damn day for myself on the time. So what time do you actually start work? 7. 7. Yeah. That's good then, we can actually go and see him. Or Charlie's in the so He is washing machine guy. That's quite far from there. That's like halfway to Christmas. He used to live literally down the road in Twickenham before I even knew him, and that was literally like 10 minutes from there. So how do you get around then to see people? Train, normally. Okay. Train. But I am going to start driving this year. So I'm just practicing all my theory stuff and I'm to get out of the car. Because then I said that way, then if someone wants to see one of my machines, I'm just like, oh, I'll load in the back of my car and bring it to you then. Yeah. That's the you pick up more machines though. Yeah. And I said to Tom, the only one I won't drag on is the 9.5, so it's like that, I think probably one making one piece over the roads over there. And you, you're, and yeah, you, you watch the low level zone to get a petrol. <laughs> Don't get a diesel. That's what yeah. <clears throat> but you don't need a big car to put. Oh, no. You put one in the. Well, it's four. Like the Yaris. Like them two together, aren't they? Yeah. Like the Yaris, I've put one in. I like what Mikey's got on his back. He's got that thing that lifts the arm. Shame I couldn't get someone out of my car. You could probably find something, but obviously it's a mobility car yeah, at the end of the day. And that mobility stuff that he uses is about two grand to modify. Yeah. So I when, when they find so the used cars yeah. are two grand more than what they'd normally be. Because you're already cool. paying for that mobility stuff that's already put in. I think I did find and I think they, they I think it was a Bel- a Citroen Bilingo van. And I think they can say something to you if they find it you're not actually using it for disability. Some of these ones like that actually say if you're not using it. I think Mike can't say that he's using it, but you can tell us that he was driving on the way to see you there. Yeah. We realised a lot that we were in Edinburgh. I thought, how you can tell your dad you were in Edinburgh for 12 hours? And we came in at 5 in the morning then. I said, came in at 5 in the morning, and the first thing I did was I went head first over his dipper. I forgot it was there. I tried to get over on the side of the car, I was like, oh, God's sake. Hang on, shirts is 56 minutes long, so that's, what is it? The older meal has had Easy Care 60. This doesn't. It only got the 40. No, the higher end meals. Higher end meals have uh, Easy Care 60. I would like one with the Because I think my professional still goes up to 60. And that's a 2015 model. See, I do want a professional kitchen. I'm realising it's going to stick out to about here. Yeah, it's 720 I never realised they were deeper. But as Chris points out, that's the only. So you can get better access to the bearings and stuff. And the belt, yeah. And there is like literally like that much gap. Because, mm. as Chris points out, Mealers are still built to commercial specs. Yeah, that's right. Because that is technically commercial, but it's just... Domesticated use. I did want one with a scrolling menu on it, though. Like I did consider getting the washer dryer. Though. The only thing I don't like is the black humidity sensor. Yeah, the I noticed that. But I still thought, oh, 1600 RPM. I was like, you know, it's still quite good. Yeah, but the amount you can find, I've seen quite a few. Well, they're all good Me and the washer dryers used on Facebook for like 50 quid. Oh, yeah, on, and on eBay they're like 600. The only thing I wouldn't like, though, is, like, is trying to move one to the shed all the time. That's the only thing I hate about this place is that I can't. If the council walks in now, they would accuse of support, and then they would. Yeah. They'd they would block, exactly. Then they'd probably try and get me. I don't know. They maybe have us down in the books. Yeah, I don't know. They get a bit. Or they might think I'm starting some dodgy business. See, I, that cashier app that came out, I wanted to start doing that. But then someone around here caught on the fact I was doing the laundry business. They'll. Dollars into the account side of it, and then they can come. Back. I don't get no that car, that cash out thing seems to be all like a, a a side job kind of business. Kind how of can you thing. just set up a business? Do don't know. Someone else has mentioned how much yeah because the cash share who's uh, it's the cash share is obviously us who do the washing. You know, wash air is the pe- the users who are wanting the washing done. Yeah. 
and neither of that works at the point. And you only get to do up to the final kill run load. It only lets you do that's your maximum load you can choose to take. Oh, you managed to set it up. I, I set some, lo some location on Washer. Yeah. It says, oh, this 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 location's not in the UK. I'm putting in my postcode and it's coming up with the street name in Macclesfield. Click. This this place is not in the UK, it's the UK and best only. Uh, doesn't it doesn't work. Like the amount of salt that's slim though. That's very pretty bad. I think it's always been better, actually. Well, we can sell it. Ah, smooth now, but then I just realised that we distribute. Then it's only going to do 500, though. Yeah, but once you've got the bulk of water out, it wouldn't be too bad. Unless it's all to sell hot. Yeah, but that's still going to I don't think people understand how much people will want like an interesting washing machine to talk for. Yeah, we can talk for hours. Yes, we can. Okay, we're going to go and have a look at the As we can talk for hours about, okay, someone described it, a box that spins your clothes around. That's what someone described a washing machine to me. They said, I don't get it. They're like, what is so fascinating about like, a box that spins? I was like, everything. Because I said, okay, okay, you take a washing machine for granted, like, do you know how it actually is built? How much money is put into building it? And I said, so could you build one yourself? But all you got to do is ask what they're into. They'll go, okay. I'm into this. Football football games. Games. Yeah, okay, so like, my worst thing is, I don't like to lie to people about what my, what my interests and hobbies are, but I think if someone at work says, what do you do in your free time? I can't say, I want to watch the machines. Because I'm so, so sad doing it, but I'm like, I'm not a gaming person. So that's when I say, oh, I'm a train spot, or oh, I, I, and then I'm like, okay. And you still seem sad. <laughs> a washing machine be, but then I, for example, someone's seen my profile picture, and what's that, they said, what's your profile picture, a washing machine? Oh, okay. Actually, I actually had someone talking about it. It's going to redistribute to do another 500 spin. Yeah, but for longer. Yeah. Now I've gone back to the actual G, that H. Yeah. I don't think all the I think they stopped with the electrons, they then just went into the streets and then had to spin. Yes, yeah, this, this seems to be only one, does it? A36 does it, the A3110 does it. I think the A3190 does it, because they're all the same brand. Then the electrons came, and I don't think they did this first spin, they just went 5 8. No, they went 6 a 11, I think they did. 6 a yeah. It was only 6 500 was like a very common speed for moon machines to start at, man. They caused all the spins started at 500. Now you start at 400, you still like sold lots. 300, some do sold lots. Yeah. <laughs> no, that Bosch do it. Oh. Bosch 200, so he ranks Beko, up and it still sold lots. Beko started at 200 RPM, literally. It, it, Beko's it, actually still 400 RPM, yeah. despite what people. Even though they start off, start. The old ones, like the no, the range. I don't know what range it is. After the. I'm saying that the WM fifty one hundred. I have. They. Yeah. The first intermittent spin off the wash goes up to four hundred RPM and then six hundred RPM. But on the intermittent rinse, the intermittent speeds that spins between the rinses, it's, a it's like a meal yeah. and just slowly ramps up all the way up to thousand. This one will only do the, the progressive spin if it's got four hundred. Other than that, it will just take off like a vintage machine and go straight out. That's what I like, it has got that like, vintage kind of programming to it, where it will just won't mess it up and get to speed. So if that's twice... Yeah, well, that's what it does anyway. It, does, it, it goes past program H to start the spin. The trouble with Hoover's because of how there's a You're going to run out of something in a minute. Yeah, the battery. It says zero hours, three minutes. That is that sounds very unbalanced, that does. Yeah. Just how about the motor sounds. You can't tell with the drum because the suspension's rock solid. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if it all of a sudden it just stops with 
balanced off. Oh, I'm literally scared of it. Like. I do sometimes forget that it doesn't have an hour balance sensor. It's only the hot one. I'm so used to a meal having it, I forget it. it's not going to stop the balance. <laughs> the hot one is when you hear the spring. That's when you know it. it's... That clang, clang. Clang, clang. Or someone described it as a couple on a bed. That's what they said the 95 sound like. So, well, so when I hear that, I know that it's something to happen. The only way you can get it to run a wash rate is obviously you want one machine on the downstairs like the one upstairs and the one upstairs. So I could have two meters. And you got a 15 meter extension I, I could have two meters in it because they both take hold. Oh, the V's on the V's on the V's on One was industrial cables. Imagine if you could see Josh tomorrow. Josh, what are you doing to you? I'm just doing right now. Yeah! Cool, yeah. Whoa! That's the worst I've ever seen this machine do. <laughs> that, they're not even moving. I want to bleep that out, you know. Oh, same way, I, I bleep them all out as well. However, when I'm with Matt and Elliot, I just got to explain that strong language and the day of the if I took this piece of paper out, that would be... Don't do it! Well, it might as well click off again, isn't it? See, if I took the paper off... Stop it! That's how bad it is. When I first got the machine, I didn't realise it was on level. And I thought, oh, I'll just put the console. Am I actually trying to Josh on the paper? Take it out. I'm actually doing more level for that. Oh, well, I'll say, yeah. That's got one. Yeah. Yeah, I've got to do it. <laughs> and I've seen more machines that won't be this thing on the level. Well, that's... A piece of paper is not warm. That's so funny. Oh, it's just A on the normal side, and then besides, uh, on the normal core, it just does the 
Cause that? <laughs> oh, maybe because he didn't button up the bedding. It's so maybe all one side. Stop it. Fend it! Fend it! Oh. Abuse. Bedding abuse. Why can't I still recording? But if I said it's run out of memory. No, it's not that. I had the machine going at 1am like that, and I got a message from Mark. Turn that damn machine off, too late. Not really, you could actually hear it going through the wall. I was actually going to. Well, there is, it's still on Gumtree. I wonder if it's fun. There's a Maytag Asco 2000 RPM one. No, no. I could still have off about a month and a half. I considered getting it, but I was like. Alright. I'm gonna try and find out. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I've got a spell 150 quid, I can buy it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he was on. What was on? He was on Gumtree. Maytime. I've got platinum on it, it's okay. They put it down as integrated because it's got a cupboard door on it. Oh yeah. I suppose you could actually. You could have it shoved under the worktop and then put like... If it's like this style, you could put that over the, the door, couldn't you? Yeah, Make it semi-integrated then. That'd be great to have it go. That'd be great. That going into 2000 over here. <laughs> the whole house would literally just... That? Oh, imagine that. Because we've always said that. If you get a 2000, I'll put, I'll put it on that and... Wash race it against the Gurenya 2 2 case. Drown the Gurenya out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's it. Yes, one set. Burnley. Where's Burnley? I don't care. Oh, it's no longer available. It ended, so someone didn't buy it. It didn't sell them. Burnley. Burnley? That's on North again. I'm sure. Oh. That's near me. Eight. That's actually near my home. It was. Yeah, Maytag. It's made by Asco, but yeah. But it's ended, so it didn't sell. Oh, it hasn't got the door on it, okay. <coughs> oh, I just pictured I pictured it here, I was like, imagine a 2000 Asco, I was like. Because yeah, I've got a machine do 16 on it, but Sharon didn't still have that Asco. That only lasted one wash. That's very interesting, that only does... That's confusing, it does 1100 spin when the slow spin is enabled. Yeah. Unless, mm. <coughs> Unless that button doesn't work anymore, but maybe. Possibly. I'll have to look and see if maybe something's disconnected from it or something. Right, it's now... 